All right, boys and girls, what we are going to do with our birds is we are going to use markers to paint. That's right, we're going to paint with markers. So the way we paint with markers is if you look on the markers, they should say somewhere. Well, I guess these don't. But these are washable markers. So if you have washable markers, what that means is that if you add water to it, it will spread out. So, what I'm going to do is give a little example in the corner for you. So there's a little example. Then if you just take some water, and get it wet, it will spread out like it's watercolor. Isn't that super cool? Okay, so let me show you how we're going to do this with our bird. So everybody should have three colors that they've chosen. I chose blue, red, and purple for me, just because purple is my favorite color, and purple is made from red and blue. So those are the colors that I like. So we can color our robin in any colors. I would give you a hint to say, leave the beak, the eye, and the feet alone, because later we're gonna get an orange to color the feet and the beak. And if you try and color the eye right now, when your paper gets wet, it'll get all blurry. So save those three things for last. So I'm going to start with the bird's chest. Do you see how I outlined it right here? And I can go back in. Now, and I want this line to be pretty thick. If you look at your marker, the markers have an angle on them. So if you take your marker and you use just the tip, that's a skinny line. But if you make your marker sideways, you can real gently make a thick line. You don't even have to press that hard. Or you can just take the skinny line and do it a bunch of times to make it thick. Both ways work. So I'm going to make this line a little thicker all the way around the edge. Then I'm going to take my next color and I'm going to make the wing purple. I think it needs to be a little thicker up here. So add a little more to there. Oh, and I went outside. No big deal. I think I'll just go ahead and make that purple. That way it's no big deal. And the body of my bird can be red. And maybe I will put red on the stripes of the tail feathers too. See how my marker is getting a little old right there? If I just went a little slower to give more time for my old man marker to walk, more time for the ink to come out, my line will look a lot better. See how when I go slow it looks a lot better? And I'm not scribbling, I'm drawing nice and neatly around the outside edge. And I think I'll do a line around the outside of the eye too. And I'm leaving the beak blank because that's going to be orange. I'm leaving the feet blank because that's going to be orange. And I'm leaving the eye blank because <clears throat> I can make that whatever color I want. But it'll get blurry if I try and put a color on it now. So now it's time for the fun part. Some water. And if you take your brush and kind of gently wipe it on the lip right there. Not the lips on your mouth, but the lip on the cup. That's this little edge. You take your wet brush and gently just wipe those hairs on the lip of the cup. It helps it so your brush is nice and wet, but it's not soaking wet. So now I can take this and I put my brush on where the ink is and I make little circles to kind of pull that ink into the middle. I 
and now that's done and it's blue and because we use permanent marker that's gonna stay where it was and I gotta wash the blue off wipe it on the lip and I can go to the purple Isn't that cool? Now we can go to the red. You gotta be real careful around the eye. You don't wanna make the eye red. So I want a nice bird. I want my bird to have blue eyes. I'd already decided that. So now that I'm all done, wipe my brush off. Now I'm gonna take the blue that I had. I'm gonna color the eye blue. And then, once I'm all done, I'm gonna take my three colors that I had and I'm gonna go put those away. And once those are put away, I'm gonna trade them out for an orange. So in order to get your orange, you have to trade your other colors out. And with this orange, easy peasy, just gonna color my beak and my feet. Beaks and feet. Easy peasy. Now we're gonna put this on the drying rack to dry. And we are going to cut this out eventually. Alrighty, have fun.